Good evening students. I hope you all well at home by the God's grace. Today in our online video class we are going to learn exercise number 3.4. Watch the video carefully without any distractions. Do the assignment and send the images to the group without fail. Question number 5. 6 times of a number subtracted from 40 gives minus 8. Find the number. To find the number, let us take the unknown number as x. By given in the question, 6 times x is subtracted from 40 gives minus 8. To simplify this expression, we need to add 6x on both the sides. Therefore, we get 40 minus 6x plus 6x which is equal to minus 8 plus 6x. On the left side, minus 6x and plus 6x is getting cancelled. We get 40. On the right hand side, minus 8 plus 6x. To simplify this expression further, we need to add plus 8 on both the sides. So, we get 40 plus 8 which is equal to minus 8 plus 6x plus 8. Minus 8 and plus 8 is getting cancelled. We get 40 plus 8, 48 and on the right hand side, 6x. For finding the value of x, we need to divide by 6 on both the sides. Dividing by 6 on both the sides, we get 48 by 6 which is equal to 6x by 6. On the right hand side, on both numerator and denominator, 6 is getting cancelled. So, we get x. On the left hand side, dividing 48 by 6, we get 8, which implies that x is equal to 8, which is the required answer. Question number 6. From the sum of 5x, plus 7y minus 12 and 3x minus 5y plus 12 subtract the sum of 2x minus 7y minus 1 and minus 6x plus 3y plus 9. For finding the required answer we need to find the sum of 5x plus 7y minus 12 and 3x minus 5y plus 2. For adding this expression, we have to write like this 5x plus 7y minus 12, 3x minus 5y plus 2. Here we are going to add the given expressions. Adding 5x with 3x, we get 8x. Adding 7y minus 5y, we get 2y. Adding minus 12 with 2, we get minus 10. Now we are going to find the sum of the second part that is 2x minus 7y minus 1 and minus 6x plus 3y plus 9. For that we should write like this 2x minus 7y minus 1 minus 6x plus 3y plus 9. Here we are going to add these two expressions. Adding plus 2x minus 6x we get minus 4x. By adding minus 7y plus 3y, we get minus 4y. By adding minus 1 plus 9, we get plus 8. For finding the required answer, we need to subtract the sum of second part from the sum of first part. We should write like this 8x plus 2y minus 10 minus 4x minus 4y plus 8. Before subtracting the second expression from the first expression, we need to change its sign. Minus 4x should be changed as plus 4x. Minus 4y should be changed as plus 4y. Plus 8 should be changed as minus 8. After changing the sign, we should add both the expressions. Adding 8x with 4x, we get 12x. Adding plus 2y plus 4y, we get plus 6y. Adding minus 10 with minus 8, we get minus 18. 
Finally, we get 12x plus 6y minus 18, which is the required answer. Question number 7. Find the expression to be added with 5a minus 3b plus 2c to get a minus 4b minus 2c. For finding the expression to be added with 5a minus 3b plus 2c to get a minus 4b minus 2c, let us take that unknown expression as x. By question x is added with this expression to get a minus 4b minus 2c. For finding the value of x, we should take this expression from left hand side to right hand side. When we take this expression from left hand side to right hand side, it will become as subtraction. For subtracting, we should write like this a minus 4b minus 2c, 5a minus 3b plus 2c. Before subtracting the second expression from the first expression, we should change its sign. Plus 5a should be changed as minus 5a, minus 3b should be changed as plus 3b, plus 2c should be changed as minus 2c. After changing the sign of the second expression, we should add both the expressions. Adding a with minus 5a, we get minus 4a. Adding minus 4b with plus 3b, we get minus b. Adding minus 2c with minus 2c, we get minus 4c. Hence, x is equal to minus 4a minus b minus 4c, which is the required answer. That is, minus 4a minus b minus 4c should be added. Question number 8. What should be subtracted from 2m plus 8n plus 10? To get minus 3m plus 7n plus 16. For finding the expression to be subtracted from 2m plus 8n plus 10 to get minus 3m plus 7n plus 16, let us take that unknown expression as x. By the question, x is subtracted from 2m plus 8n plus 10. So it can be written as 2m plus 8n plus 10 minus x which is equal to minus 3m plus 7n plus 16. For finding the value of x, we should take this minus x from left hand side to right hand side. It will become as addition. Again for finding the value of x, we should take this expression from right hand side to left hand side. It will become as subtraction. Subtracting this second expression from this first expression should be like this. 2m plus 8n plus 10. Here minus 3m plus 7n plus 16. Before subtracting the second expression, we should change its sign. Minus 3m should be changed as plus 3m. Plus 7n should be changed as minus 7n. Plus 16 should be changed as minus 16. After changing the sign of the second expression, we should add these two expressions. By adding 2m with 3m, we get 5m. By adding 8n with minus 7n, we get plus n. By adding plus 10 with minus 16, we get minus 6, which is equal to x. Hence, 5m plus n minus 6 should be subtracted. Next question number 9. Give an algebraic equation for the following statement. The difference between the area and the perimeter of a rectangle is 20. We know that the area of the rectangle is L into B square units and the perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B units. By given in the question, the difference between area and perimeter is 20. It can be written as area minus perimeter which is equal to 20. By substituting these values of area and perimeter, we get L into B minus 2 into L plus B which is equal to 20. 
which is the required algebraic expression next question number 10 add 2a plus b plus 3c and a plus 1 by 3b plus 2 by 5c as by the question we should add the given expressions 2a plus b plus 3c plus a plus 1 by 3b plus 2 by 5c here in the second expression in the second term 1 by 3b we should multiply this with the b 1 into b we get b divided by 3 similarly 2 by 5 c should be multiplied as 2 c divided by 5 after multiplying this we should segregate the like terms 2a plus a b plus b by 3 plus 3c plus 2c by 5 it is easy to add 2a with a but within the second bracket we have b plus b by 3 to add these two terms we should take cross multiplication that is b into 3 3b plus b divided by 3 this is what we call it as cross multiplication similarly we can add within the third bracket also multiplying 3c with 5 we get 15c plus 2c divided by 5 adding 2a with a we get 3a adding 3b with b we get 4b upon 3 adding 15c with 2c we get 17c upon 5 finally we get 3a plus 4 by 3b plus 17c which is the required answer added i hope you all understood very well and learned thoroughly I ask everyone to complete the assignment in the classwork notebook and send the images in the class group without fail. Okay students with this end we have come to conclude this session we'll meet in the next class till then stay home stay safe take care